Welcome! Today we're gonna be ranking every major Godzilla Kaiju game on Roblox. It's gonna be pretty intense deciding which of these are the best and which of these are the worst, but I believe in myself. Leave a like on the video if you're awesome and love Godzilla, and let's get into it. Okay, so first we have City Destroyer. What the crap is that? Okay, I feel like I should have predicted this. It's a game where you destroy the city and gradually grow and become a Kaiju. This, these games are creative, I suppose, or like not creative at all. I don't know. Either one. It looks like there's a few on the list that don't actually have Godzilla in it and are just kaiju focused, but that's okay. And of course, you can pay a bunch of money to grow a little faster. That's where these games always go to crap. That guy is pretty big though. Okay, we're going to respectfully and delicately place that one in the crap section. Okay, up next we have Kaiju Cool. This game's pretty sweet. They have a large assortment selection of kaiju, but the kaiju aren't the most detailed beautiful things, but some of them are actually decently, like, impressive. Plus, the Jaegers are kind of cool. Anything with Pacific Rim gets extra points in my book. Like, that's not the worst Jaeger. That's actually one of the best ones in Roblox. But the best thing about this game that's going to give it the most extra points ever is their Godzilla 2021. This game spent their entire budget on their 2021. And the result is pretty spanking beautiful. I will go as far as to say this is the best Godzilla 2021 in all of Roblox. You know what I'm saying? Like that, it's the most detailed by far, for sure. And that Hollow Earth breath is like movie accurate. This is all looking pretty good for the game. So we shall give Kaiju Cool a good, because that's pretty amazing, but there hasn't been anything crazy since. Untitled Godzilla game. Ooh, this is new. Okay, this game is super new, so we're going to judge it a little differently. We're going to judge it based on how we think it'll end up. The final wars are freaking awesome looking, like that's incredibly detailed just for the first kaiju coming out. So far, it's looking pretty good, but nothing too special. What really gets me though, is that energy thing over there in the corner. That's directly from the Godzilla 2014 PS or PlayStation game, which means this is going to be largely, oh my God, largely modeled after the, the freaking PlayStation game. Which, look at that, even as the giant shield that pops up that knocks you back, you can destroy it. And there are freaking NPC jets and stuff that attack you while you play. Obviously, they don't work right now, but they will eventually. So this game's going to be modeled exactly after the PlayStation game, which is amazing. So we're gonna put that under good. That may seem goofy to some because it's not a complete game yet, but trust me, I've played that P PlayStation game so much and it's gonna be awesome. Okay, Yasilla's Godzilla Free. This one, let's go check out. Okay, I remember this game. This, this game is very, um... It has, like, the graphics of a mobile game, but it has the widest variety of kaiju ever. So, we're going to rank it well in the diversity one, and even as Mega Godzilla that was cancelled from the Godzilla vs. Kong movie. But as far as, like, animations and their face and everything goes, it's pretty terrible. <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong, it would take me a long time to learn to even make something like this, I'm sure. I'm not saying I could do better, I'm just saying... Come on, they don't even move! But the variety is crazy. They have every, like, comic book kaiju from the MonsterVerse. That kaiju universe won't even end. So I'm gonna put it under meh, because it, it's, it's surviving based on diversity. Okay, LOL's Godzilla RP. Oh dear, it has RP in the name. Oh, I remember this game. Okay, so this game has a large variety of stuff, but not the biggest. A pretty weird variety, actually. It's really like freaking Robo Sharkzilla. That's crazy. I don't know, man. It's got that. Oh, no way. It's got that. I forgot this thing's name, but I love it. What even is that? Egonus? Zmoskar? Cupidus? The Grinch? Grinchzilla? Hang on. You may have just saved your name with Grinchzilla, sir. Oh, I can't access it. Ooh, that's a point deducted. What the hell? Krampus? Rudolph? Okay, it's got the gingerbread man and Geigen Rex, for God's sake. So it's looking pretty good in the diversity thing. You can tell they love Godzilla, and that's all that matters. What is this? A bowl of melted crap? For loving Godzilla, but for overcharging like crazy on your kaiju, I'm going to give you a man. Like, the wide variety, clearly you love Godzilla. So you, honestly, I'm gonna put you in bed. Your game's incredible, but like charging 1,500 Robux for a planet eater though are you well come on man in this economy okay kaiju universe no reason to really play that it does great on the diversity it does great on the models and stuff like that 
but it is amazing. It just doesn't update that much. You know what? I'm going to give it one of the best because it is clearly still one of the best, even though it updates like once every three months or so. I hope that in the future it continues to maintain its place, but it's got to add more stuff, I feel like. Okay, Kaiju Battlegrounds. Okay, this game is pretty awesome. It is still brand new, so we're going to excuse a lot of issues once again. But I love games that just make Kaiju heavily inspired by Godzilla. Like, to where it's not per exactly one of the Kaiju from one of the movies. It's just based off it. It's incredibly similar in every way and clearly Godzilla Kaiju, but just different enough to where they'll never get in trouble. I have high hopes for this game, and I shall watch its career with great interest. You shall go under good. Okay, let's speed this video up. Holy crap, I'm talking forever. Okay, Kaiju Multiverse. This game is incredible. It has the most beautiful Godzilla GMK ever. It is still brand spanking new. But more than the GMK, it added Founding Titan and Zombie GMK. And it looks incredible. Like, it's freaking perfect. The game just added buildings. It's still brand new, so it's still like a shell compared to most other games. But as it stands, this might be one of the greatest games ever. It feels so silly to put it under best because it doesn't have really anything in it so far. But like, what it does have is the greatest thing i've ever seen okay pacific frontiers that new pacific rim game it's it's incredible it's got some of the greatest freaking pacific rim kaiju ever they aren't godzilla kaiju but they are kaiju nevertheless and as far as pacific rim goes it is the best pacific rim game on roblox it's like closed for testing again but still Okay, Scenaria. I don't know how Scenaria got in this because it doesn't have Godzilla, but it does have Kaiju. It has Kaiju legitimately. And the Kaiju the game has are pretty legit. They have everything down to, I guess they have like fire breath or toxic breath, but it's almost atomic breath. Definitely not one of the best Kaiju games on Roblox, but it is still pretty great. So I'll put it under good. It should, it's, it's pretty amazing for creatures. It just doesn't have Godzilla, you know? Okay, Godzilla Monster. I need to see what this one looks like. See, this game is blocky. Some people may dislike that about it, but it's actually not a deal breaker for me. Oh, I remember this game. Okay, this game's actually creative as hell. It has a wide variety of super creative kaiju stuff. That guy looks so weird. The issue I have with this game is most of the stuff you could only freaking get through events and stuff like that. Like, there's so many kaiju that you have to play on a certain day to unlock. I know a lot of games do that, but it still drives me crazy. But this game does have Doug, so it gets Doug points. I'm going to put you under meh for making too many kaiju that I can't unlock anymore. Okay, Kaiju Attack Simulator is, as for what it is, it's definitely one of the best games. Like, it's for kaijus attacking. It's like the only game except for Kaiju Arisen where you could actually battle kaiju as humans. But this game gives you giant mechs and stuff too. I'm gonna put it under good. It feels like a good. Okay, this game, Kaiju Paradise, I hopped in there. There's no kaiju. There's no Godzilla. There's no nothing. It's a game of lies, bro. And as far as I can tell, it's also a furry meeting spot, which I don't necessarily have anything against. But to use Godzilla as a secret cover for your for your debauchery? No, no, no. That's going right to the bottom. That, that game has, as far as Godzilla combat goes, it sucks. All right, Kaiju Online was one of my favorite Godzilla games, but it doesn't really update anything anymore. But as it stands, it does still have one of the most beautiful burning Godzillas and without a doubt, the most beautiful Biolanti I've ever seen. So I'm still going to put it under good as just like a Biolanti appreciator. Okay, Kaiju Alpha does. It did have Muto Prime first. It did have Godzilla Earth first. And it has the most beautiful Godzilla 2014. They had to remove Godzilla Earth until they add other kaiju, so there's more diversity, but still, that 2014 is beautiful, and for that, it goes under good. Plus, Kaiju Alpha still has other stuff, too. Kaiju Arisen is one of my favorite kaiju games ever. Not gonna lie, they made a freaking, like, riot skull crawler. Plus, Kaiju Arisen 5.0, the next version of this game, is looking like it's going to be one of the most beautiful games ever, so they're going under best. Okay, this Godzilla size comparison game, it's not really a game. Game, so there's not much gameplay, but that person works so freaking hard on scaling and measuring every kaiju that's ever existed in like any form of media. Honestly, it's like the library of Alexandria for Godzilla information. It's beautiful. I'm putting it under good because everyone should visit that world. Godzilla Return of the Kaiju is pretty okay. Like it, it, it has the war bat. It's not the best war bat, but it's got a war bat. So I'm going to put it under meh. Kaiju World doesn't really update much anymore, but there was once a time when that was like the game to play, dude. That had like all the Godzilla vs. Kong stuff first. So you shall go under meh, because you were amazing, but you don't really have much anymore, and you removed most of the good stuff. Okay, Attack on Kaiju. This game doesn't have Godzilla, but it has Kaiju. 
and it's one of the most fun humans versus kaiju games I think that could ever exist. Plus, it's so creative. It's just a fun time. It's a fun time with friends. I'm gonna put that under good. And then Project Kaiju is probably like one of the best Godzilla combat games to ever exist. Like the combat system's crazy. That game's so freaking amazing. So it shall go under best as well, of course. Okay, this is my Kaiju Godzilla Roblox game list. Honestly, it feels pretty legit. I love it. I'm, I'm a pretty big fan of it so far. Like, obviously, some people might have different choices with some things and other things, but I don't know. As far as my feelings go, this is it. It's kind of goofy because some of these games under meh have better gameplay than some of the ones under good, but it's just not how I see things. Okay, this is it. Let me know what you guys think down below. Leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>